you know, I feel that you know, there are there are other companies which haven't done that, and I've seen the growth of them turn into something which they said they'd never be, just purely because I was in those offices with those people, and it's like it, it was toxic. I want to know when and how, or when and why you started doing fan channel content because it's it's evolved so quickly. I think it's become quite commercial quite quite quickly yeah. in, in this day and age, and it's almost abnormal for a club to not have various fan channels being created around the stadium. Mm. Well, I mean, I did my first fan cam uh, when I was seventeen. Actually, no, no, actually. I've been 16, 16 or 17 uh, after Chelsea beat Tottenham in the Carabao Cup final. Um, there was just, just walking down Wembley Way and there was this bloke with a massive afro, Eunice, you know, he, he was just there. Um, and he goes, oh, do, do you want to talk? Do you want to do a fan cam? And at this point I was like, you know, I mean, I think it's fair to say I, I do like being in front of camera and I do like being the centre of attention. And that's just, just, just my thing. Um, so I was like, yeah, all right, let's, let's, let's go do it. And I did it and I really enjoyed it. I had the chat and I kind of, I walked about 200 yards and then I just kind of had an epiphany. Where it was like, oh, so that was quite good. Like, this might be something very interesting to do. So it was like, oh, I just went, oh, do you guys need any help? Like uh, just doing it more and more. And they're like, oh yeah, that'd be really cool. Like, yeah, let's, let's just get you more involved. So then, yeah, like I just started doing more and more fan cams every single um, every single week. Uh, and then at the end of the season, I was kind of brought into the studio and all that sort of stuff. Um, Country of Chelsea was part of uh, Ball Street at that time. So I kind of went into there. And it is literally, it just kind of evolved from there. Um, and it just grew and grew and grew and grew and grew. Um, and yeah, I, I just fell into it. There was no, there's, there's, I feel there, there's a lot of people now that are, are doing it because they want to, they just because they want it to be famous and because they want, mm. you know, they just want to do a fan channel because that's that's the thing. I, I strongly advise that if that's how people are approaching it, it won't work. I think I, I'm very lucky because I kind of just, it was very much just, I became mates with Eunice, I became mates with Dan and it's like, we just, just it just worked. You know, it, it just kind of grew, but we weren't doing it because we wanted to have a fan channel like Eunice had been approached to sort of run it uh, by somebody else. And then he obviously that he took it and ran it. Um, and then when he left, I was kind of like the, the last man standing. So it was kind of just a case of Louis, do, do you want to run it? So I'm like 18 running a, a fan channel. And it was mm. well, at that point, one of the biggest on the internet, which is, I still can't believe they trust an 18 year old. It was basically like, look, here's the keys. Look up when you're done. So mm. I'm like, oh, okay. So it's obviously it was a lot of pressure, um and i was doing that alongside my studies and stuff and then yeah i think the the commercialization part of it i i understand why it's there but i i do feel in some cases it's very animal farm now um you know fan channels i feel were set up to actually represent people whenever i i well and when i say that i never whenever someone said oh louis here to represent chelsea it'd be like well I don't represent everybody. Like I know there are people that think yeah. fan channels are, if we're, if we're going to name names, very much AFTV's bracket, which is, you know, it's, it's just a load of people that are yelling. Some that, that like, well, all the fans come on actually supporting the club, but then others, for example, which are very much like, it's AFTV, I've got to get on here. Um, whenever I did fan cams, I never uploaded people who I felt were doing it for the sake of clicks. You know, I, I never wanted to do that because I actually wanted to have engaging conversations. And if people didn't agree with it, I'd say, oh, fine, that's cool. I completely understand why you think fan channels are a certain caliber because there is a there is a certain level of stigma attached to them um, because of what they are. But, you know, for me, I went into it going, I purely want to have conversations about the football. And I tell you what, if you, if, if you're good and you talk, and you can have those conversations, you'll be absolutely fine. Um, but now, obviously, as fan channels have grown, you know, they have just become media companies. Mm -hmm. um, and I, it was always bound to happen. But, you know, when people are saying, you know, we're the voice of the fans and all this sort of stuff, I'm sitting there going, but we're not anymore. You know, if, if you're if you're a massive media company, it, it's it's not the voice of, of fans. You know, it's for, for, for me, a fan channel 
is it's all it has to be very grassroots it has to be very almost not under the radar but you, you, you can be known it's good that you know companies like sky and bt get fans involved and get fan media involved yeah. but I, I feel that there there does need to be a certain element to it where you need to be on a, a grassroots level you need to be boots on the ground because if you're not you just don't get you just don't get the the same vibe off of people, and obviously it's very difficult now with COVID and stuff. But you know, being able to be on social media and have those conversations is great. But then at the same time, when you're doing that, you've then got the market becoming very saturated with everybody just you know going, oh, we're in lockdown. Let's start a stream yard and and just do it. And and look, I'm I'm not I'm not excuse me, friends, I'm not shitting on those people. You know, I'm mm. not sitting here saying, oh, well, you should be doing it. I'm not trying to sound snobby. Um. But it's, it's kind of like I said, it's like there are people which are doing it to just be famous, you know. At the end of the day, however you want to do it, it's 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 your prerogative. You do what you want. Um, but there's this, like, you go on social media now. To be honest, I, I tweet and I put my phone down. Like, if 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 you if if I actually engage in a conversation with somebody, you know, it's kind of one of those where it's like, cool, like we're actually, I can actually feel, I can talk to you. It, it revolves into right. Just drop me a DM. Just talk to me there. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I sit. You put out a conversation, and it's like just people sending for you and saying crap, and just like it's just all. I just I just like I said. I just I, I I'm an old man in comparison to a lot of my mates because I look at it and I'm, they they put something on Twitter and they go off and vent and they start having an argument with somebody and I'm sat there going just looking at my phone. And I'm just going. Oh, Fuck this! Just fuck put the phone down. That's it. I just, I just can't be bothered, man. Like it's, there's some stuff where it's like I feel yeah. It, fan media it, it has animal farmed on itself. So when they turn around saying you know we're the voice of the fans and all this sort of stuff and it's not really grassroots and it's now just evolving into media giants and media companies. That's not even though it's it's a fan channel and people speak of, of fans of the of the club. It's it's a it's a media company. Um, I think the the best people to have actually kind of, even though they've grown, but they've kept that sort of mentality and that that strength within them. I think the Redmen TV is is the best at doing that. And I've talked Norwich City, Jack and Chris as well. Like mm-hmm. despite having like amazing connections with the club, they still have maintained that fan mentality of this is what we are. We're not gonna try and be something we're not and, and grow and develop and you know get all snazzy with how we do our stuff and. You know, I feel that you know, there are there are other companies which haven't done that, and I've seen the growth of them turn into something which they said they'd never be. Um, and I think that yeah, for for me, it's it's kind of one of the reasons I walked away from a hundred percent Chelsea, just purely because I was in those offices with those people, and it's like it it was toxic. You know, it it wasn't let's make good content and and try and engage with audiences and, and and talk about football in, in a smart and intelligent way it's right 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 what are your views this month what's the numbers this what's the numbers that what's the number and it literally just became a business and i'm sat there going well I, I understand that that's the case but you still need to have that sense of a of, of fan media that sense of conversation the kickoff i think again is another great example of balance you know it's fantastic production value fantastic conversations and it's people that have obviously grown within the in the industry to become journalists almost, but they still have that sense of we are fans of football. It's it's not it's not the traditional NCTJ route. It's the very much this is where we came from. It's a new breed, but this is what we want to do. But you know, in, in other companies, it was very much numbers, 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 numbers. And I'd be I'd be sitting there in meetings, just going, do you know what? Like this ain't worth it. It ain't worth it because mm-hmm. there'd be meetings, there'd be politics, it'd be toxic. It made me toxic, a very toxic person for a little while until I literally had to walk away and take a year away from YouTube. I was literally doing Imperial Wolf, that's it.